what's up YouTube, down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I've got these Costco lanterns here. This is an outdoor LED light or lantern that's on the front of the house. And right now it's just flashing off and on. Super annoying, probably driving my neighbors crazy. I've done a little bit of research and it sounds like our LED driver inside here has gone bad. This is very common on this particular light. This is made by Altair, sold through Costco. So based on what I found online, it sounds like it's just the LED driver that's gone bad. And this is an APC 16350 or 16 watt, 350 milliamp. And so that's what we're gonna change today. And hopefully that will fix our issue and get this thing working again. Now, the first thing before you do anything, make sure you turn off the power supply, whether that be the switch or the breaker, just make sure you don't have any live wires inside here before you start taking this apart. Now, this would probably be easier to do and easier to change this driver if you were to unmount this whole light, disconnect the wiring, take it off the wall and work on a workbench or something like that. So of course, I'm just gonna leave it on the wall and try to do it this way. But the first thing I'm going to do, again, after the power's switched off, we're gonna take off this glass diffuser and that's held on just by these two Phillips screws. All right, now we can take off this reflector that holds the LED by removing these three Phillips screws. Pretty dusty and dirty in there, that's to be expected. If you have one of these little voltage sensors or volt sensor pens, just press that button. Make sure you don't have any power coming to this. Again, we have the power turned off, but it's a good idea to double check with this. All right, and we can disconnect this plate here We'll clean that up a little bit, but that's just got our LEDs on there. Okay, so this is our old driver here, this little white box here, and it's held in place with two more Phillips screws. So we can take those out. So this is the old constant current driver, and this is what we're gonna change out with our new one. The wiring is a little bit different on this, and I think we are gonna clip this to maintain this connector on our LEDs. But let's go ahead and take this off. Got a little zip tie here holding this together. Let's just take off this tape and these wire nuts. All right, now the biggest challenge really is just the mounting. You can see these mounting tabs are obviously very different than the replacement driver. So I just got a zip tie and drilled two holes. I just spaced these with the same spacing here. And I'm gonna use the same screws to hold the zip tie in place. Then I'll just clamp the driver in place with that. First, we're gonna wire it up. The blue here is gonna get tied with all these neutral wires. I'm just reusing the wire nuts that were here. That looks good. And we'll just tape that back up. Okay, and then here we have our red wire. This comes from this photo cell or dusk dawn sensor. And we're gonna wire this to this brown wire here. I just always give a little tag on those to test. And then we'll tape this one up too. I just took the old driver and cut off this side, which is the red and yellow. And we're gonna wire that to our new driver, red to red and yellow to the black here. And I realize I need to grab a couple wire nuts or something. I just grabbed these, these little bullet connectors that I happen to have a bunch of. So we'll just put these in here and let's crimp those into place. All right, you may not have seen that, but there, we just got this one on right here. And now we just need to do this one here. Just give those a little tug. Looks good. These are little heat shrink connectors, so we're just going to melt this real quick, get that to shrink up. These are little handy little mini torches. Use these quite a bit now. All right, that looks good. Now, there's lots of ways you could get this driver mounted. Of course, you could use some double sticky tape or wire it up here somehow, or this is just something quick. I think it's going to work. And these wires really, they're just gonna get held up in place by this little reflector. And that's what we're gonna put on next here. We're just gonna plug this in and then just kind of tuck these wires up out of the way. Just have to line up the holes. There's two here and then the one centered kind of in the back. Now I just got those all started. I just wanna make sure there wasn't any wires hanging down or sticking out. Kind of is right here. I'm just gonna tuck that up underneath and then we can tighten these screws the rest of the way. Now I should probably test this before putting on the diffuser, but I'm just gonna put it back on.
All right, we got the glass diffuser back on and I just went and turned the power back on. So let's test this. I'm just gonna cover this little light sensor here and it works, look at that. Do it again. Perfect. Very happy with that. A very inexpensive fix and I don't have to get a new light fixture. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this same replacement driver along with some of the tools and parts used in the video as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.